Hi friends, so happy to have you here today. I just finished a video where I showed you everything I colored in the month of June. And one of the pictures was from this book. Um, I've done a ton of pictures in this book over the last, what, I don't know, two years, year, however long it's been. And I'm going to do a flip through of the book now and show you all the ones I've done. And they're so bright and colorful and fun. I love Color It tablets. This is 50 Original Hand-Drawn Drawings by Color It. These are more of the spiral bound hardcover ones. Um, mine is coming apart a little here, so that's a bummer because I've been working in it so much, the spiral, but overall you can get these on Amazon. They do tend to sell out, so you have to wait for them to come in back in stock sometimes. So this is a fun book, a lot of ocean theme, summer theme. This is one I just started. Um, so I'll probably show you that in my month of July drawings. Let me turn it this way so you can see better. We will take a look here at this one I did so much fun the lemonade sunset ocean I was really proud of this one I definitely used like a, I think I used a neon highlighter over yellow pencil to get that effect in the in the lemonade <laughs> isn't that fun so this is a great book what I hate is having to turn it back and forth so you guys can see um lots of fun things to do oh is that the wrong way little uh, buoys or anchors, sort of again, that sailing theme. Here's my gorgeous parrots. These were fun. I need to go back and do some work on this background. I did this one year, several years ago and that was before I knew, had learned how to do backgrounds. So I have to go back in and fix that background. But um, I love the contrast of the green and yellows against the purple. Packing your suitcase for vacation. That's gonna be a fun one to do. Here's one I haven't completed yet. Waikiki tiki. Oh, my toucan bird. Gorgeous. Love this one. This one is so fun. This book is fun. I love nature's nature type, you know, flowers and foliage and trees and landscapes. Animals, not so much like jungle animals. Those are hard to get the fur to look realistic, but just settings. I love settings with bigger spaces to really get the color in. Here's one I'm still working on. Started using gel pens, but I don't like the look of it. So that's going to have to get revised. My beautiful butterfly. Use a lot of different greens here. Oh, I loved this one. Isn't this gorgeous? Oh, I love it. This one is my snow globe, tropical snow globe. All those beautiful flowers. I just love this book. You can do so many bright popping colors with your florals. Oh, this one was fun. My, uh, uh, Hawaii. Oh my gosh. I'm totally blinking out. Ukulele. <laughs> I did like kind of the, all the different browns and tans in this one. There's a lighthouse. Here's my sun tanning gal. Not sure. I guess I forgot to go back over with pencil. I, I use Copics on her skin, but I need to go back and fix that because this one was obviously incompleted. Just realized. Oh, my tropical lovebirds. Aren't they sweet? Again, I love this book because I love greens, natural greens, and I have so many different marker sets. I can pull out the greens from like 10 of my different sets, every shade, and have like 30 shades of green to work with and put all of them in one picture, like I did in my Hannah Lynn's um, Rainforest, Whimsy Girls Around the World picture, which is in my video, flip through of all the completed pages I did in Hannah Lynn's Whimsy Girls Around the World. Oh, like for example, this one, all the different greens I used in here, the bananas, I thought this one was really pretty. I need to go back over this skin. Some issues here. Here's the tropical hats, sun hats, incomplete. Oh, this one's probably one of my favorites. This totally reminds me of the Lucy episode. Oh, mama mia. Oh, mama mia. Where she's doing the fruit dance and, and Ricky comes home and is lip syncing to the record. And then the, rec the record speeds up and she can't keep up. <laughs> that pretty this one took a long time I don't even remember what I used these are old pictures I did a long time ago back when I thought my skills weren't as good actually my fish mosaic 
It's another beautiful tropical girl. Again, this is what I was talking about. I must have 20 greens in here. You want to use all different shades of greens, or greenish yellows, or dark, and medium, light, in between, mint, emerald, because you want each piece, each natural element in your picture to pop out. If there's too many that are similar, you're not going to see how they differentiate themselves. Oh, there's my iguana. Not a very good background I did on that one. There's another tropical floral. More bright popping colors I used. This one it looks like I didn't finish. But I'm well on my way. Cat lounging on a lanai. Oh, sorry, it blurs whenever I tend to turn the camera. And my cord is in the way, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm not very coordinated today. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, yes. Loved this one. This is probably like my hula girl. My tropical flamingos. surfboards I haven't finished just the one in the middle I guess I did yeah that then oh that one's finished I think this one's really pretty tropical bluebird my pineapple incomplete this one will be fun I love palm trees four butterflies kind of that mosaic look My beach houses, I use kind of more softer pastels for this one. That one was really fun. Lighthouse. Why is the camera blurry? Hmm. Oh, my Hawaiian girl. On the ukulele, I can see several spots where I need to go over and improve because this was these were older pictures that I did before I spent two years learning new skills that one's pretty I think there's some metallic in that one uh, conch shell floral bouquet oh what are these guys called again I totally forgot the Tongan um, statues. Can't remember, but this one was fun. I used fluorescent sharp, um, highlighters to give the flame effect. Shells. There's a buoy. An incomplete I was doing with pen, um, with a uh, gel pens but I didn't like the look so I stopped the tiki bar more of these statues incomplete the treasure chest very aerial that'll be fun another incomplete sometimes I get bored and I want to move on to something else right in the middle of a picture does that ever happen to you there's a lot of these quadrants of fours in this book. Fish, turtles. Oh, look at, I love this. Color it, the tablet. It's like a color it page in the bottle. I thought that was fun. And it looks like that's it. The back of my thing came off because I've been working on this so long. So that's what I've completed over the last couple of years so far since whenever this Tropical Scenes book came out. Um, I'm going to get in and finish these as time goes on. I'll try to get one or two more new ones done for my July pages. And you'll see the difference from my old skills compared to my newer skills. But thanks, everybody. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And check me out on Facebook under the coloring Oasis. And if you can, like and follow. Have a great day.